Seattle Mayor Bruce Harrell announced Wednesday the expansion of the Seattle Preschool Program, a highly successful and accessible program for low-income people. He was welcomed to the school by a chorus of children and teachers. Harrell made the announcement at La Escuelita, a bilingual school in Columbia City, one of the seven new expansion classrooms in the program. We know what this means. This is the upstream work uh, that, quite frankly, as leaders of the city, we have the honor and privilege to do. This is medicine for the soul, as I like to think of it. This is when we go upstream and we look at a lot of the issues we're facing today in, this, in the city, and we're saying, where can we go upstream to do the real work, to do preventative work? The program supports high-quality learning classrooms for three- and four-year-old children. It helps them gain pre-academic skills and supports their social-emotional growth and prepares them for kindergarten. Rosa Aguilar, who has one child at La Escuelita, said she was happy to see this level of support from the city. Es muy importante porque... It is very important for me that they are here. And I also realize they are here to support our dual language program because being bilingual is very important for our children's lives. The Department of Education and Early Learning, Dwayne Chappelle, stressed the importance of ensuring that children are ready for their academic careers. It's nothing like knowing that our young scholars have um, the foundation to step into elementary school um, so that they can hit those milestones on time, whether it's third grade reading at a certain, in third grade, grade level, because all of that leads to upward trajectory um, for them being successful when they graduate from high school. The addition of La Escuelita to the program brings a total number of dual language classrooms to 28. The program serves children in eight different languages, including Spanish, Cantonese, Somali, Vietnamese, and American Sign Language. Just being able to have children of different cultures sit across from each other and, and speak in one language um, is, is impactful, but then to be able to open that door and have them speak in multiple languages, Spanish and English, it connects them and it allows uh, children to have those cross-cultural skills. Harold said the new classrooms bring the total to 89 preschool sites across the city. The program serves about 2,200 children, with the goal of increasing that number to 2,500 by 2026. They deserve what we're trying to do. They are worthy. They are investments. They are our gems. The program is funded through levy funds and was launched in partnership with the Department of Education and preschool providers. Harold said the city will provide leadership for the rest of the state. Funding is always a challenge. You know, this is from levy dollars, so this is the city collectively saying, we believe in brain development at an early age. So Seattle will lead the way. We're the largest city in this state. That's what we should do. This works. The preschool program is open to Seattle residents and is free for most families. It uses a sliding scale to determine rates for higher income households. Families can learn more and apply for the program by going to seattle.gov apply SPP.